Welcome to Richard Skill Modeling. This is part two of the Revel USS United States Scale 1 to 96. In part one, I uh, painted the hull and put it together. In part two, I'm dealing with the, the decks, the um, rudder, and the stern uh, part of the ship. Also, I'm hoping to get onto some of the cannons. Um, well, we'll just see how we get on. So let's get into the build. Well, I'm kicking off with uh, painting the deck, and first of all, I'm using Rebel Aquacolor 382 with brown. And as you can see, I'm using it for the frame here. Then I'll be going on to the crates in the middle that you can see in the deck. Moving on to Rebel Aquacolor 381 brown silk, and this is for the middle uh, section of the crates. Now it's on to paint in the main deck, so the base colour I'm using 88 aqua brown. And what I'm looking to do here is put on um, a couple of coats, but um, slightly uneven. And the reason for this is just to uh, start um, getting the um, wood effect uh, uh, done. This is a, a two-part process um, with the uh, de deck and uh, the base colour. So once I put the base colour down, I'll be moving on to the next colour. And that is Life Colour LPW19 with Deck Shadow. And what I do here is put a little bit on my brush and brush it on. But I barely let the brush touch the surface. Um, occasionally I'll just apply a little bit of pressure on the brush uh, to make the colour a little bit deeper. But um, the, the key thing is here is to brush in one direction um, a very light touch on the brush and um, occasionally just press down a little bit harder on the brush and this will give you the wooden effect. It's a very simple process to get a wooden effect um, but if you, if you use this technique combined with a good um, undercoat colour you shouldn't need to buy any um, add-ons like wooden deck and so forth. So once it's dry, it's time to fit. Um, as you can see there, um, the effect that I've got on the wooden deck, that's just with those uh, two colours. Now, the, the fit can be a little bit tricky because this is the lower deck. It has to fit right inside uh, the model. But there is location points for you to guide, to guide you into it. Um, just be... Um, persistent with it. Don't worry if you think, oh I've got to splay out the model a little bit to get these to fit in, because you will have to do this. Um, but it does go in just with a little bit of work, but you want it to be tight. Um, you, you don't want to be trying to clamp um, the how to go at this stage. The next part to go in is a support beam for the mast I think it is, and it's uh, made up of three units two side uh, parts uh, and one diagonal part. Uh, the instructions say make it up before you put it in, uh, the, the deck and plate in. But I thought it would be better to put the um, deck and plate in first, then put it on. And as you can see, after I've done that, I started on the stand. Now these little notches I said earlier on do not cut off, because these fit in into the actual stand. So they just um, click into place as such and um, you may need to hold them down for a few minutes just to get them to set. On the kit there's loads of little cleats and uh, ring pulls. Um, I'm painting these in Revo Aquacolor 82 with brown but that's just a, a base colour. I will be going over them shortly. For the rudder I'm using Revo Aquacolor 09 Arthrosite. Um, there's uh, just uh, two parts that sandwich together here. Don't be tempted to make this up um, once it's painted though, um, because you won't be able to fit it onto the model. So it's back to the little cleats and I'm using Tamiya's XF84 Dark Iron and I'm just using this uh, very lightly, um, just the tiniest amount of coat going onto them because I want the wood colour to come through so they have a used worn look. For the tiller I used Revo Aquacolor 09 Arthrosite as the base coat, then I moved on to Life Colour Wood Index Sharpener LPW19. Um, you really can't see the tiller uh, once it's in 
Um, I didn't realise that, so you don't really need to paint it. But there again, it's good to paint these things because you know it's been done. The bands I'm using Mr. Hobby H28 Mark Metal Black, and um, these are the studded bands that go uh, hold the uh, rudder together. Now it's time to cut the first part of the um, ropes and rigging, and this is for the um, steering system, and it's requiring 61 centimeters of this uh, cord. Now, uh, how I deal with it, I just take a straight reel, measure um, it. This is a 30 centimeter reel, so I measure it twice and uh, one centimeter, and then just cut. Simple as that. It's better to measure it um, because I don't know how much um, rope they've given me here, so um, it's always better to um, err on the side of caution. Uh, to thread this through, I'm using a little uh, needle threader that you get in a sewing kit. So this just uh, fits in the hole, and then you put your um, piece of cotton thread, rope, whatever, into it, and then just pull it through, and then the um, item's threaded. Uh, there's two little cleats that go on as well. Make sure you put these on before you uh, fit this part. Make sure as well that the the rope is uh, not tangled, um, so it's not twisted around the tiller. And then it's a simple case of um, threading the wire through uh, the rope through first of all. So I'm using my little threader here. Uh, again, just makes it easier. And then just a piece of tape to secure the ends. Then the two little cleats go in a uh, little recess points um, on the underside of this deck plate. Um, they're well defined. Um, the instructions are not 100% clear where you put them, but um, after a little figure now, it was fairly straightforward. And then once you've got your rope in it, it's time to put in the um, part of the deck, and it's placed in the same way as the other two pieces. Just make sure that your uh, piece of cord it is not trapped in between the hull and the actual deck. And once you're happy with the fit, um, just have a look, make sure that the cord's not uh, trapped and it's coming out the um, stem. So there it is there, and then it's attached to the tiller, and um, it's hanging loosely. To attach the tiller to the rudder, um, you can see it just lying on there, that's where it's going to go. First of all, you have to put it through the stern piece before attaching it to the rudder. But when you close up the rudder, make sure it's only the top part where the um, tiller is because the um, other part of the rudder gets uh, clipped in to the bar that runs down the, the stem. And then once you marry it up to the bar, um, you can place on the other half of the rudder. It's a little bit tricky, this process, but stick with it. it you should be able to do it. You can't really pick it up in the camera because it's such a, a such a way that I have to have it at this angle to uh, complete this process. I put a couple of clamps on just to uh, keep it shut while I deal with the um, the back and the stern here. Uh, as you can see, it just butts up against the edge there, um, like that. Now um, you can leave it loose for now, or you can attach um, the. the the part itself. So what I've done is I put a bit of glue at the bottom uh, just to um, put it in situ for now. And that will allow me a little bit of movement uh, when I carry on with the build uh, and the decking. I'm using River Aquapilla 05 White to paint the um, gun ports. This is uh, both sides will be painted. Moving on to Mr. Hobby H28 matte metal black and these are for the bands on the covers and while that's all drying I'm moving on to the cannons and they're getting painted in Rebel Aquacolor 302 silk black. It's 32 in total that I have to paint here but moving on to the cannon mounts and it's a mixture of scent of 36 carbon red and 30% of African brown number 17 and lastly 05 white 10% and that makes up it's a, this colour, it's like a terry quarter colour and it's Rebel Aqua Colour 09 Aphrosite and the, this is for the wheels on the Canon Cradle. So they take some time to paint but um, this is a, a finished one there and you can see the size of it. Um, I wasn't sure of the colour yet but in the end I, I, I quite like it. 
So moving on to assembling the, the cannons now. And um, I found it was easier to assemble these on the sprue. Um, so I, I took off the sprue, half of them, uh, the ones without any of the um, notches that hold onto the cradle, then just placed them on top. Then it was just a matter of painting the, the seam lines. So I used a cocktail stick and um, just put them in gently because you don't want to break open the bond that was still a bit soft and painted the seams. Now I'm going on to the gun port covers and um, the, these are uh, assembled with using a uh, little pieces of thread or rope and you, 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 I cut a length of thread about two and a half inches long and um, then thread it through the tiny little hole in the gun port, tied it off so there's a knot on the inner side and then thread it through the um, hull. So I'm going to end the video here. This is not a great angle that I'm showing you here. I'm going to try and reposition the camera so that you can uh, see it a lot bit better on the next update. So I'll carry on doing one side. It'll take a few hours to do. And um, then in the next update, as I said, I'll, I'll reposition the camera. So as we're coming to an end, why don't you check out the um, other videos on my channel. Subscribe to the channel if you like. And indeed, if you liked this video, hit the like button. You can also leave a comment if you wish. It's always nice to hear from you. But for now, thank you all very much for watching. Bye-bye.